that we are looking at right now is the US dollar Canadian dollar if you recall we went long right in here right this lower white horizontal line it was a retracement confluence number we bought this market at 103.75 remember this, this is a forex currency pair it's not a futures contract it's a currency pair we bought it at 103 75 market rallied up missed our first profit target at 104.62 <clears throat> I think I missed it by about maybe 15 or 20 pips it came real close to it on an intraday basis the same day that it actually hit and then what we did was I moved my stop from initially sitting down in here where I'm drawing the white horizontal or the red horizontal line rather below the 50 exponential and I moved the stop up to break even so it was a scratch the market came down as you can see and it and it hit so it got out flat so we didn't make any money off that but as you can see right now uh, well, market hasn't been open but a few hours but so far the high is substantially lower than yesterday's high and the low is substantially higher than yesterday's low right so what it looks like it will probably have an inside vertical bar today okay so what this will do is it'll set up a trade, a potential long trade on Sunday or Monday. We would be looking for the market to rally up through the high of that inside pattern, and I would look to go long, okay? So this is uh, still on my radar. I'm still looking to take a trade to the long side. <clears throat> but again, we just have to exercise some patience, see what happens today, and then look to take the trade above. Whatever today's high happens to be, we will be looking to trade up through that high either on Sunday when it opens, Sunday night, or and or on Monday. Alrighty, second market I want to take a look at is the SDS ETF, which is the inverse of the S&P 500, right? When the S&P 500 goes up, this goes down. The market goes down, this goes higher. And if you recall earlier in the week, I believe it was Monday, I'm not exactly sure, but I went long here, right in here. All right, as you recall, the entry on this SDS, right, I was looking for the market to come down, which would mean that the SDS would go up, right? I bought it right in here, uh, B for buy, right? At, it, the price was thirty-eight ninety-five. I know I made some mistakes when I was talking about price on Monday. I got a few people calling me out on it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, again, I was gone for two weeks, so I'm a little. I was, you know, I got to get back in the swing of things, right? So I went long at thirty-eight ninety-five. My stop was a close below this low of 37.45. Yesterday closed at 37.42. I believe I scratched the trade at about 37.44 yesterday. So I lost on this trade, lost what, a dollar, I don't know, what is it, a dollar fifty four ish So that was an outright losing trade. But, the, you know, the, the, the name of the game is having that stop. When that stop is hit, you're out of the market, right? And you position yourself into the trade appropriately right you're risking a, just a very small fraction of your account this is a rather small trade that I did looking for a little pop to the upside did not get it the market as you can see is extremely extremely strong I put on that SDS trade uh, what is today Friday Thursday Wednesday Tuesday Monday I put that trade on about right in here right looking for the market maybe to come down a little bit so the SDS would shoot up I was completely wrong about that and again lost on that trade it's that simple all right now I want to talk about the British pound US dollar that was on my watch list on Monday as well uh, honestly I didn't do anything here I know a few people did uh, but you know the mistake I made was this look at obviously the trend is down right this was this is the low Right, I had a white horizontal line representing a retest of that low. We had an inside bar followed by an outside vertical bar. That outside bar, that it was a bearish engulfing pattern. It closed down in here. What I failed to really point out was, yeah. and I didn't do it myself, but I should have because this is a great trade and I typically do this. It's just, I guess I wasn't thinking straight. Again, I was a little, 
this is a little slow being out of it for two weeks, but having a resting buy stop above the high of the, out, the engulfing pattern on our test of a major low, right? Major low down here, okay? Took it out marginally, okay? Let me just point this out to you. This is a great, great trade. So when you see this, this has got to be as automatic as possible. Again, look at the market tested this low, right? Took it out marginally down in here. Granted, it closed in the bottom third. Doesn't matter where it really where it closes. If the market had proceeded to go lower and took out the low of that bearish engulfing pattern, then there would have been no trade. But to have a, a resting buy stop above the high of that engulfing pattern, that is a phenomenal trade. Okay, right where I'm drawing, right here, right above this high to go long. As soon as you get long, right, your initial stop loss is directly below the low. And as you can see, the market right in here rallied about 150 pips. A real good trade. I mean, the market did exactly what I thought it would do. Okay, seeing this pattern. That's why it was on my watch list. But I wish I had taken advantage of that. We did get a pop. I'd still be long this trade. There's no reason to get out of this trade. I would have been taking some profit as it was hitting that mid, uh, the mid band here, right? But that was a nice little pop, and that's exactly what I was expecting for it to happen. Again, what's still on my watch list is gold, GLD, the ETF GLD. Look, at we're getting that move that I was expecting up. Unfortunately, there's been absolutely no patterns. Uh, you got a gap here. You never try to fill that gap. You got another gap. Barely didn't even fill that gap here. We got another gap right in here. If we're not able to fill that gap and we take out the high here of 124.36, we're gonna we're gonna continue moving higher here. And then of course I really want to get long Apple computer. Again, this retest, market failed by what a couple bucks and we're up significantly. Unfortunately, really didn't get any pattern in here. Had a couple, you know, nice day trades though. But all right, hope that helps. Hope you have a great rest of your Friday. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. And have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Bye.